America by Paul Simon. Real classic tune. Uh, beautiful and uh, very interesting in the way it, uh, it changes keys kind of subtly throughout the song. Throws in little bits from other, from other keys and just a beautiful melody throughout. Pretty straightforward finger picking, but a few interesting uh, turns in here as well. Okay, so starting out at the beginning, um, I really kind of accentuated picking through, arpeggiating through, and I, I often use my thumb to kind of pluck all the way through the strings like this, like that. And this is the first thing that's out, of, that's out of key. This B flat suspending this F is actually out of key. It's actually from a different key. But it's a nice thing to throw in that little suspension. melody. Okay, and that slide, I don't have a bass note under that. I actually pick up all the strings. So you just want to be sure to hit it very clearly, very confidently, before going on to the next note. So it's a lot of moving around in the left hand there, even though you're dealing with open chords. It's a lot of moving around to hit the bass and the melody at the same time. So a bit of a challenge there. And then next part, we do that slide all the way up the 8th fret. And I find just, yeah, kind of sliding into that 8th fret helps accentuate it. Okay, and then we have this kind of, it's almost like a little mini bridge at the end of the verse. Like that. And I use some of the drone open B string there just to fill it out a little bit. tab there's actually a bar of 3-8 in there in the midst of all those 6-8. Interesting, it just kind of sneaks in. There, I think there go. One, two, three, like that. Um, that right there dun, 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 is actually an extra bar, although you don't really notice it when listening to the song. Just sort of interesting. Okay, uh, next verse is exactly the same. Then I get at the very end. Uh, after a Walk up. Okay, just gotta wedge your bass note. You've got the low bass note for the few first few notes, and then going up to the fifth of the D, and finally the octave G. Okay. Okay. Now this is a little tricky to to do it exactly like it's sung. It's a little tricky. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Like that. It's kind of quick to go like that. So instead, you could certainly do it just like, just very straight. Like that. Da, da, da. Instead of like that. It's really your choice. Okay. That's a little bridge, interestingly, coming after. Uh, kind of after the first chorus, or this B flat. There's some big stretches here. You could also do like that, if that's easier. Again, a pretty quick switch there. Okay, And then over the F. Here I find a little vibrato to really help a lot. Uh, it can get a little bit difficult uh, intonation-wise because you're playing high up. And there's not a lot supporting it here. It's really just the melody and bass note. Okay, this next melody then, I played down in the first octave. And as always when you're playing a melody down here, uh, I find it best to kind of move toward the bridge a little bit to really try to accentuate uh, the kind of high, um, you know, just make it as clear as possible. This is a much brighter sound. And you also have melody notes very close to the bass, so you have to make sure the melody notes really pop out. hit the 
this that seventh there just kind of it's an A7, but I'm just hitting these two notes just to kind of um, just to be that's not a vocal note. It's just a bit of a um, you know just a bit of a flourish. Okay, and then then here on my first uh, harmony. high harmony over the vocal. And you can choose to do that or not. You can also do it just like you did the very first, um, the very first uh, part like this. Instead of... But I think it's sort of interesting to add that. Okay, the next verse is, like, is exactly like the first and it ends just like the second. And here to add just a bit of harmony, I'm doing here a basic open D chord. And that really is an echo to, uh, to Garfunkel's uh, harmony vocals here, which are very, they're very loud in the original recording. They almost overshadow the main vocal in that part. So I want to try to echo that a little bit on this. So just repeat if you don't want to do that and repeat just this part you can just repeat this once more instead of okay and the very end I do this repeating mel m melody in the original recording uh, there's sort of a sort of an organ part I believe it's organ instrument that plays a melody it doesn't really repeat exactly the same I decided to repeat exactly the same, sort of pick a melody and just repeat it like that. So that repeats three times. Not, not difficult, but you just want to be sure just to get those bass notes uh, sustaining along with the melody notes. And that little hammer on. last time I just pick through a C suspended and then pull off here like that yeah so I hope this is useful please let me know any questions you might have as always and thanks for watching